all right everyone supreme kami over here so it is thursday night again you know uh, per usual they did drop something new for us here so we got some you know notice on the you know the next standard pickup caps over here so these are definitely not <laughs> you raven gonna murder right okay uh so these are definitely not gonna be something to just kind of to worry about um in terms of the arena news over here so for the next 1v1 they want us to use a long range mode for a set vortex so you can get a programmer increase so it usually when they want us to use a specific vortex for arena for when we want specifically uh we do get a bonus of up to 150 percent to you to your parameters so that will allow you to just kind of be a little bit more powerful and then just kind of take down your enemy a bit faster and potentially get some overkill bonus points so yeah on top of that, in terms of the 3-on-3, three three, um, the war tag that they want us to set for the operator base is going to be Federation. So they're just going to be pretty much rotating through um, throughout the whole war, what kind of war tag that we have. So that is going to be pretty much it in terms of the, uh, the arena news. In terms of the new banner they, they have dropped for us, uh, they actually did. So this is going to be called the exclusive part both side capsule with a 3-step. Okay. All right, so let's see what this one um, half worth over here. Uh, so there's only only going to be four steps, and you do look like you are going to get some sort of like a voucher that you can potentially exchange for like a part. I'm assuming. So there's only going to be one uh, step one to four, and then the last step seems to be free. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, looks pretty good, but uh, are there any L badges? Let us actually take a look into the overall banner or, or just overall banner for this week. Are there even anything that is worth summoning? So that is what we are going to be trying to find out to, uh, right now. All right, so we have this banner right there. So that is new. And then we have these two right there. And then we have this one over here um, exclusively to the build divers. And any reruns for this week? No, actually. Okay. So no rerun for this week. So in terms of what kind of banner we are looking at, um, I personally do feel like this one's probably the worst one of the bunch because um, let, let me actually take a look at the what, what kind of freebie we're getting. So we're getting a fragment style for this week. And if I'm not wrong, we usually need 10 fragments. So you're gonna need to do up to a 2.5 rotation. So you basically want to do um, so you basically want to do one, two, four, two times, and then you want to do step one and two uh, for the final time to get up to a 10 tickets. Because I recall, it, it is going to exactly cost you 10 fragments to exchange for one exchangeable ticket. So let me actually see if it is anything around here. Okay, so it's going to be this one over here. So you're going to need 10 fragments. So yeah, that's going to be pretty expensive i think uh because let's say you don't if you don't finish out the rotation you are basically wasting your voucher by by that means so uh if you guys don't have the enough resources or, or enough um hardships or something for the, for the banner definitely skip this one because this banner um i think the whole part premise is you want to get the you purely want to get this over here and potentially exchange for one part that you would like so yeah if you guys can't um how much is it going to cost that is the question though right so it's gonna be 900 for the first step and then 12,000 so you're up to 2100 and then you add another 1500 so you're up to 37 right uh 37 and then uh i'm pretty sure this one is going to equate up to 9300 hardships so that is going to be quite expensive even a little more way more expensive than summoning on this banner right there and I think the main catch is that you guys did not see anywhere you can get any L badges. So I'm pretty sure nowadays people are fully aware of like you really want to summon for something that is going to give you L badges. So if this one is not really giving you that option, um, that is definitely going to be something you want to skip. Because I feel like everything that we have currently is really live within the L badges. Because they're definitely going to be allowing you to just get, you know, whatever um just you better upgrade for your parts in general so yeah but uh let's say you guys do have some out badges for some of the unit that you guys um have right here that have some for example uh i think right now they okay they're actually up to the eclipse gundam already wow okay i mean the eclipse gundam i think the most formidable part to get is actually going to be the beam rifle uh, because this one's going to be a 40% trade for your melee weaponry or for your melee build but on the ranged weaponry but 
yeah this is definitely gonna be the part you just kind of pick up but um if you guys don't have the albatross bash with this one i don't really think this is a great pickup because you are going to be missing another 40 percent trade at max so that is going to be the unfortunate factor and they also have barbaric so they are really recent in terms of the list so that's why i don't really recommend you guys summoning on like any like for these uh, specifically because they will eventually make their way through to some of these bows over here and yeah i think that is still probably the safest way to just kind of manage your hardships uh, i think purely something on these two are probably not the best case scenario because like in terms of the overall drop rate they are actually pretty low five percent right there and then prime pool rate is going to be 16 percent so at least one part of uh, when you guys do do multi summons that is going to be guaranteed 16 percent for that one five part potentially but I think most of the times so I usually get three stars. So usually uh, you do get shafted, but um, you know, uh, with with whatever whatever luck you might have during that week, you can get get it. Um, just like I was able to finish uh, both suits, you know, it was with what within twenty thousand hardships. So that was like that was a miracle actually. But uh, in terms of the uh, hand state, that actually did went back just a little bit, so I can complete what I actually want to get. Uh, I, I I needed the hyper beam saber. And then a torso for more world build, but yeah, I think someone on these specific banner is probably not the best case scenario. And if you talk about this banner right here, um, this banner is uh, another going to be exclusive um, step up over here. And I believe they actually do have another freebie down here, right? Yeah, they're giving you this over here as well as the four star pick uh, exchange ticket. I mean, the four star pick tickets we like we we have a campaign currently that allow us to get up to a hundred and twenty. So that is literally gonna give you twelve parts. I don't think this banner is even that worth it in a way because we are able to get this one relatively easy for now. So I don't really see too much of a point of getting this one or someone in banner. Um, so this one is also gonna get a specific L batch. So uh, that is gonna be good. But if you're talking about what is gonna be on the roster, uh, it's actually not that top tier because uh, let me see um in terms of the diver exclusive you know banner we are like we we probably do have everything in the new year's the new year part exchange already um i think the only one that we don't have actually is going to be the love uh the love phantom which i think the most important part from the love phantom has been kind of um over uh kind of replaced already with let's say the cold source beam saber so there really isn't a point on summoning on um, which what do we have like um we had the gn outron i don't like i think the most important part if you guys don't really like in terms of the ex skill i think they're all pretty uh, phenomenal in terms of like the chest the arms they are definitely top tier but in terms of the head i think you know it's, it's just going to be like a general 40 percent trade across the board so i think people actually want did uh wanted uh, what you call it i think the phantom one is probably what people want the most because you're not really taking any damage i forgot which one was you you take you take more damage for your shot so that's why i think people prefer the phantom maybe if i recall let me let me double check uh phantom 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 let me see um where's phantom gonna gosh um, um, um where's phantom man hello Phantom. Yeah, Love Phantom is, uh, I think the most important part is definitely going to be your Striker Sipe over here, a 40% tree. But like I said, again, this one has been replaced with a 40% uh, with a 7 star rarity part already. So summoning for this one or exchanging for this one is probably not your best bet. And then in terms of your subslot, let's say you're not able to pull a second copy. I think subslot uh, availability for this one is kind of not really that much because this is a dual saber. So in terms of dual saber for a big scale, we really don't have that much options. So that's why going for a pure saber like the cold sora is uh, probably your safe bet uh in a way so 40 percent trade right there so yeah this one literally the same thing uh maybe the word tag wise this is a little bit more lenient depending on what kind of build you're looking at so yeah it does lock you down to a close combat so if you are not using that uh this one is probably not going to be your tick at all and even the striker side is a close combat as well so yeah but uh in terms of the phantom I don't think the phantom one takes any damage so yeah this one we don't take any uh, additional damage so that's that's why i think people prefer this one uh, over 
the Gion Ultron. So yeah, so this really isn't that good of a part. Uh, granted, we get this one, and we uh, this one, we are pretty much able to just kind of get whatever you need from the set right here. Um, this one is the double sky, um, higher than sky face, which you can kind of pick up already. Um, the H2 Magnum SP, there isn't, there isn't any top two parts that I think you will need at this point in time. Maybe the backpack for arena specifically, but other than that, um, all the other ones are just not really up to date for, for say, even the Sahara of Seri isn't that good either. So yeah, so that's why if you do something uh, specifically for um, this banner right here, the Diver's Banner is probably not the right choice to do. So if you guys do have any hardship to say about right now, uh, definitely continue to summon or say, well, not summon, but continue to save on them. Because I feel like for New news, uh, New Year especially, or even, you know, um, let's say Valentine, I feel like they would drop something banger uh, and maybe not be like a step of banner, or maybe they will open up another one of those, you know, um, hardship store where we can get some free, um, goodies. But yeah, I think that is going to be pretty much it. So if you guys do have any horror ships, definitely try to save up on them. Uh, for the time being, I don't think there's really that much thing to just kind of summon for. Not really that worth it for your horror ships. So uh, this unit, you can definitely kind of pick them up like in a banner like these later, much later on. So there's really no worry in trying to get some, you know, seven star part right now. So with that being said, that is going to be pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys all on the next one.